The cell cycle includes cell growth, specialization, and replication. The cell cycle begins with G1, followed by S phase, where DNA is synthesized, followed by G2, followed by the mitotic phase, consisting of mitosis and cytokinesis. A prominent feature of the cell cycle is mitosis, the division of the nucleus. Specifically, the, gene the genetic material within the nucleus is duplicated so that only one copy is passed to daughter cells. Division of the cytoplasm within the cell is called cytokinesis. Mitosis is the type of cell division that is carried out by somatic cells. It is the only period during the cell cycle in which chromosomes are visible in the light microscope. The mitotic division of an animal cell begins with G2 of interphase. In G2 of interphase, the nuclear envelope bounds the nucleus. The nucleus contains one or more nucleoli and the centrosomes have formed by replication of a single centrosome. Each centrosome features two centrioles, and the chromosomes, which were duplicated during S phase, cannot be seen individually because they have not yet condensed. Following interphase is prophase, in which the chromatin fibers become tightly coiled, condensing into, into discrete chromosomes observable with a light microscope. The nucleoli disappear, and each duplicated chromosome appears as two identical sister chromatids joined together at their centromeres and all along their arms by cohesions. The mitotic spindle begins to form, and the centrosomes move away from each other. Following prophase is prometaphase, where the nuclear envelope fragments and the chromosomes become even more condensed. Each chromatid now has a kinetochore. Following prometaphase is metaphase, the longest stage of mitosis. The centrosomes are now at opposite poles of the cell, and the chromosomes convene on the metaphase plate, an imaginary plane that is equidistant between the spindle's two poles. Following metaphase is anaphase, the shortest stage. Anaphase begins when the cohesion proteins are cleaved. This allows the two sister chromatids of each pair to part. The two liberated daughter chromosomes begin moving toward opposite ends of the cell. Following anaphase is telophase, in which two daughter nuclei form in the cell and the nuclear envelope arises from the fragments of the parent's nuclear envelope. Nucleoli reappear and the chromosomes be become less condensed, completing mitosis. Cytokinesis, the splitting of the cytoplasm, follows telophase and it involves the formation of a cleavage furrow, which pinches the cell in two. Mitosis is essential in both development and growth. It also plays important roles in regeneration, asexual reproduction, and cell replacement. Mitosis produces two daughter cells that are identical to the parent cell. If the parent cells are haploid, the daughter cells will be haploid, and if the parent cells are diploid, the daughter cells will be diploid. Humans have a diploid number of 46, so if, parent cell, so if the parent cell is diploid, then the daughter cell will have 46 chromosomes. Meiosis. Unlike mitosis, meiosis is separated into two stages, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Meiosis is the process that makes sexual, sexual reproduction possible in organisms and allows for genetic diversity within the organisms. In animals, the germ cells undergo meiosis to produce gametes. Each cell starts with a diploid cell number and eventually results in a haploid. The first part of meiosis is also known as meiosis 1 and can be described as separates homologous chromosomes. The first part of meiosis 1 is prophase 1. Chromosomes begin to grow smaller and homologs connect with their pairs along their synaptomal complex. This process is called synapsis. Crossing over takes place during synapsis and is the process where non-sister chromatids bond with one another, exchanging DNA and genetic material. The site where this process takes place is called the chiasmata. As in mitosis, spindles begin to form, the nuclear envelope breaks down, and the centrosomes begin to move. Microtubules attach to the kinetochores and begin to move the chromatids toward the center of the cell or the metaphase plate. After prophase 1 comes metaphase 1. Each chromosome pair is faced towards opposite poles of the cell at the metaphase plate and the microtubules are connected to each pair of homologs. After metaphase 1 comes anaphase 1. Anaphase 1 contains when the hom homologs begin to separate and drift towards opposite poles because of breakdown of proteins. Spindles guide the homologs along this process. Immediately after anaphase 1 comes telophase 1 and following that cytokinesis. A cleavage furrow begins to form, separating the cell into two new daughter cells. Each daughter cell contains pairs of chromosomes that are made of sister chromatids containing areas of non-sister DNA. Cytokinesis occurs, separating the cells. After meiosis 1 is completed, the cell must separate the sister chromatids and the daughter cells. This begins the process of meiosis 2. Meiosis 2 is also known as separate sister chromatids. The first part of meiosis 2 is prophase 2. The spindle apparatus form and the chromosomes in each daughter cell move towards the metaphase 2 plate. In metaphase 2, sister chromatids are not genetically identical because of the crossing over process of meiosis 1. Aligned along the metaphase 2 plate is where the sister chromatids go.
Anna phase two begins right after metaphase two. It starts with a breakdown of proteins holding sister chromatids and allows for separation and movement towards the opposite poles. The final stage is telophase two and cytokinesis. The nuclear membrane begins to reform as cytokinesis begins, and in addition, the chromosomes also begin to decondense. The end of meiosis II results in four daughter cells, each genetically different from the parent cells and each other. Each daughter cell is also a haploid cell, therefore containing N of their parents 2N. Comparing mitosis and meiosis.